the outset let me congratulate the koi post the one of the only few green uh, news news uh, paper we can say which is completely paperless and i congratulate them for uh, starting the services for the general information awareness of the masses and also i congratulate ms vidyashri of taking up this challenging job of being editor in chief of this uh, quite a intricate and complicated matter of publishing newspaper that to paperless that to online and uh, th that to which is continuously updated we just wanted to bring to the notice to general public that uh, what is the future of heart transplantation uh, now when we have a broad spectrum view of this problem we see that in a multiple organ harvest uh, multiple organs are harvested that means liver is harvested kidney is harvested heart is harvested but if you go on the website of the tamil nadu cadaver program you will find that almost kidney and liver they are 100% utilized whereas the heart is uh, uh, the utilization of heart is less than 20% which means 80% of the heart healthy hearts are wasted now the primary reason behind this is uh, economic and most of the heart transplant patient or patient who are posted for heart transplantation they are quite poor now if we see the uh, economic logistic of this problem we find that uh, the tamil nadu chief minister scheme uh, gives around 20 22 lakhs for the liver transplantation for kidney transplantation they give around 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs but for heart transplantation there is no scheme there is no safety net for this heart transplant recipient patient so through this channel i would like to appeal the governmental agencies as well as the non governmental agencies that please consider this procedure the heart transplantation in the tamil nadu uh, chief minister's scheme so that some some funding is uh, is there for this very sick patient because heart is a very central organ without heart no liver no kidney nothing can survive so it is very very important that this this should be included in tamil nadu chief minister's scheme now the future of the heart transplantation is is basically dependent on multifactorial uh, matters one of the matter is social there has to be social awareness the stigma of brain dead and the emotionalism which is situated is associated with heart uh, should not be there because when the brain uh, when when there is a brain dead the heart may be kept on beating but it is quite healthy to be donated the utilization of the organ will also uh, need to have a certain amount of social will or political will and the financial logistic in favor of the patient there has to be some public private partnership between the governmental agencies the non governmental agencies and the patient party the private parties if you take these things into cognizance then the heart transplantation will work out very well in this country because we are proud to say that in the state of tamil nadu we have the highest organ donation in the country since consecutively many years none of the state like even maharashtra is nowhere near tamil nadu in terms of organ in terms of organ donation and um, uh, so the uh, when you have a good amount of organ donation it is but natural that your organ utilization should be good and for that a multi pronged strategy from social angle in terms of awareness in terms of financial angle which means financial support from private parties and the public parties should be there and uh, the future of heart transplantation is also dependent on the another technology which is coming because heart transplantation entails that the patient has to take life long immunosuppression which can attract infection which can attract rejection as well so this is a um, um, con continuous and very intensive process so there is another technology which is coming which is called an artificial heart total artificial heart or left ventricular assist device which has only one drive line the patient did not need to take any medication for lifetime for preventing rejection and there are very very few chances 2% chances of infection currently this technology is is available in india but it is not affordable it costs several lakh rupees to 
to have an artificial heart or a left ventricular assist device. So further research is also needed in that direction and um, this, this device therapy can also be used to bridge the patient for transplantation. For example, heart transplantation is the ultimate procedure. So if the patient is very sick and cannot survive till the suitable organ is available, you can bridge the patient to transplantation by putting this left ventricular assist device. Uh, by far, I would see, I would project that I have been in this transplantation, heart cardiac transplantation procedure since last 21 years and I see that there is a growth, but this growth is not phenomenal, it is little bit static. Despite the advances in surgical techniques, despite the advances in immunosuppression drug therapy and despite a huge awareness among the general public. And, and I think that, I believe that this is more mostly because uh, a lack of awareness among the public who are about to be a recipient for cardiac transplantation or about because of financial difficulties in carrying out this procedure uh, per se, the operation per se. Because the expenditure in heart transplantation is cumulative, the patient has to be followed up for life, he has to take medication throughout the life, he has to take precaution throughout the life. So there is no um, uh, motivation, there is a lack of inspirational and motivational angle among the patients and among the physician as well to motivate a patient for heart transplantation. The future of the cardiac transplantation is, is dependent on all these multifactorial uh, indices.